All right, we are now 123 vlogs and 25,000 subscribers in. Thank you for joining me. Big announcement. I've been invited to play on the live stream at The Lodge in Austin, Texas, coming up on July 21st. Now, I will admit, I have never played on a live stream before, and it's one of those things that, uh, you know, you kind of always want to do. And The Lodge is the first card room to step up and say, we're going to bring you in. So, I love the city of Austin, and I uh, couldn't be more excited. So, if you're going to be around, I'll be playing there for three nights, the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd with that live stream on the 21st. Hope to see you at the Lodge. But for this vlog, we're back at the Pepper Mill, and we're in the middle of a downswing. Had that $1,500 loss on the last vlog, and I'm not going to lie to you, I have not won since. I think four consecutive losses, which I believe is the first time in 2021 that that's happened. Um, maybe we had one at the very beginning of the year, uh, because that was rough. So we have to turn that around. And, well, that's the plan today. I've been thinking all about my enemies. Titanic sinking, who killed the Kennedys? Perusing journals and thinking about my memories. I was tripping on low stakes and jealousy. The day starts out when we get a $15 open under the gun and a flat call plus one. We then get two field callers, and I have ace, king of diamonds in the big blind, and make it 85. The original razor folds, but plus one, a tough but tight player, flat calls. And with the others folding, we have 215 in, with a flop that comes jack 7-8 with two clubs. I decide to follow through here with a $115 continuation bet, and much to my chagrin, he makes the call. So with 445 in, the turn is an offsuit 9. I can't think of a hand this particular opponent would call that pre-flop raise with and call the flop bet with that he'd then fold here. So with that in mind, I check. He checks behind. So the river comes the jack of clubs, which was unfortunate because I figured he could easily have a hand like ace queen of clubs in a spot like this. I knew he had some sort of premium pre-flop holding and he'd fold out all the pocket pairs under a seven. So what does that leave? I decided to just check this again and he checks it back and he shows pocket queens. So we lose that one, and then we get a hand that happens with seven players dealt into the game, and we have a $15 under the gun straddle from a VIP. I have ace queen of hearts in the hijack and make it 35. The big blind, an unknown guy around my age with full tattoos over his hands and head, calls. The VIP folds his straddle. So with 85 in, it comes 10 of diamonds, six of diamonds, seven of hearts, and he checks. I opt to just check this one back here, not really having anything against uh, an unknown. The turn's the three of hearts, giving me the nut flush draw, and again he checks. I bet 50 here, with the hope that he'd fold a hand like pocket fours or pocket fives, but he calls. So with 185 in, the river is the three of clubs, pairing the board, and he checks again. It's a good card for him to call me down with if he did have a medium pair. And there are a lot of draws that he could have that won't beat me at showdown anyway. So I take the weak route here and just check back. And he shows ace six of clubs. Now given how he played the hand to that point, I like the chance of him calling me on the end with that hand, but who knows? Either way, I'm stuck out of the gate. I didn't get video because it went so fast, but I ended up flopping top and bottom pair with ace jack against a VIP and getting paid off by king queen for $125. So that got me on the scoreboard for the day, which then led to a hand where we get a $15 open under the gun one from a grinder type, and then a VIP in the hijack makes it 40. I have kings in the big blind and make it 130. The original razor, this grinder type guy who I'm talking about, decides to jam all in for 800, forcing the VIP out, which is a questionable decision at best. This guy is probably a winning player, but one of these types who just barely wins anything, just grinding out a meager living, playing poker. So I didn't love it. I didn't think he'd do this with hardly any hands. I definitely was going to fold queens here, but kings, obviously, just felt a bit nitty. So I make the call, and we have a $1,600 pot. He shows pocket aces. We run it twice. I lose both. If I had had aces in his spot, I would have obviously wanted to keep the VIP in. I would have known that was the best way to make money out of this hand 
because unless I had specifically pocket kings, I was not calling his all-in jam, but in all honesty, I don't think he's smart enough to know that kind of thing. I did make a little back the next hand, flopping a pair in a flush draw with 7-8 of clubs and then rivering two pair. My river bet did not get paid off, but we still recover a little bit of the damage. I vlogged this hand with my phone vertical for no real reason except the fact that <laughs> I didn't have the requisite chips in front of me to support my phone. And I didn't want to break my hockey puck uh, because I was basically leaving in a couple of minutes after this hand was played. But under the gun opens to 15. And the low jack, this guy I'm talking about with all the tattoos over his body, makes it 45. It's certainly not a super reliable indicator of craziness with the tattoos, but it's worth noting. I pick up queens in the big blind here and raise to 130, forcing me to break that hockey puck after all. To my amazement, the original razor under the gun snap calls. Then the low jack jams all in for 1300 having both of us covered, so the effective stacks being a 1,000 in this hand. I go into the tank. Finally, I decide to fold the pocket queen's pre-flop. Under the gun, calls. And that's his entire stack. He ends up having pocket jacks. The board runs out eight high, and the low jack wins with pocket aces. The moral of the story in this vlog so far is in 2021 live poker, when you get big all-in bets before the flop, you better expect to see two aces. Something I pretty much already knew. All right, it's just after eight o'clock. The sun's not even down yet, and I'm already ending this portion of the vlog because I booked a $1,318 loss. So this ends up being a two session vlog. I spend Friday morning with my son. We do some reading. Can you find the planet with the orange stripes, Austin? No. No? And then I cruise past the Grand Sierra Resort down US 395, back to the Pepper Mill. Same table, same seat, and several of the same players in the game. But this time, with a lot more money. I buy in for a thousand initially, and open to 20 under the gun one with jacks, getting two collars. With 65 in, the flop comes 10, 7, 8, two hearts, and I bet 40. Both guys call. With 185 in, the turn is an offsuit king. I decide to still bet here. I put $80 out there, and just the middle position player makes the call. So with 345 in, the river is an offsuit five. Now he could easily have turned a king to go along with his flush draw here, but he only has $105 left, so it seems like he would have just gone all in on the turn if that's what he had. So I figured it was worth seeing if he'd pay off with a 10 here. I bet him all in, and he quickly folds. I pick up ace jack under the gun one and make it 20. Cut off, button, and big blind all call. So with 80 in, the flop comes king, 10, 8 with two spades, and I check. The button bets out for 35, and the others fold. With the gut shot straight draw and the backdoor nut flush draw, I decide to try the old check-raise bluff here, making it 100 more. This is a player-dependent strategy based on recent tendencies. He thinks about it for a minute and makes the call. So with 350 in, the turn's a brick, an offsuit 5. I fire $200, and he folds queen-jack face-up. So had a brick come on the river and it went check-check, I'd have won the pot anyway. Under the gun limps, and plus 2 makes it 15. The cutoff calls, and I have pocket nines in the big blind and decide to press it. I make it 85. The lipper folds, but the others call. So with 260 in, we get a halfway decent flop in 10, 7 deuce, 2 spades. I check, as do both my opponents. The turn's an offsuit 5, and now it just feels like I have to have the best hand here. I bet another $85. Plus 2 makes the call, and the cutoff folds. So with 445 in... The river is the four of spades. I decided to check this. Probably should have value bet, but wasn't 100% sure how this guy played. He checks back, and I'm good. Then I decided that this game is just too good based on several of the factors that I noticed, and I need my other hockey puck in play, so we're in for 2,000. 
Then I try to preflop squeeze with pocket eights to 60 over an early position raise and get four callers. Not too many players give me much credit in this game, which I like. I ended up folding the turn to a $200 bet on king king 4-6, and the guy showed pocket tens. Then I bet folded ace king on an ace 9-9 three club board when faced with a turn raise in a spot where I felt very confident I was right, but did not end up getting verification of that fact. Well, then I got a late start filming, which by the way, when you hear that, you always know that a pretty interesting hand is coming. Otherwise, I just wouldn't include it. Anyway, I got a late start filming, but under the gun limps, and I have pocket queens under the gun two, and make it 25. I get three callers. So with 100 in, it comes 10, 7, 5, two diamonds. I bet out 75, and as you can see in my video, which I continue to believe is the best in-game video of any vlog out there, all three of these guys call me. And with 325 in, the turn is an offsuit jack, giving me a gut shot to go with my overpair. I bet 125 here, and both the cutoff and the big blind, of VIP, make the call with the under-the-gun player folding. So with 575 in, I'm hoping for a brick on the river, and I get the equivalent to a Shaquille O'Neal free throw. The deuce of hearts. I bet 175. The cutoff snap folds. The big blind thinks about it, and after a minute, calls with Jack-9. So our one pair nets us a $925 pot. Then once again, I get a late start filming. But it came when I flopped quad deuces and my opponent bet into me for 100. Do I have to point out that I didn't fold? Anyway, the board was deuce, deuce, four, two diamonds. And I think I did what anyone would do. And I just called. With 250 in, the turn's an offsuit six. And now he fires 300. He was the pre-flop raiser in this hand, and based on his flop sizing and now his turn sizing, and my knowledge of his play over years, I felt very confident that he had absolutely nothing. So I decided to just call this overbet, and with 850 in, the river is the seven of diamonds, and now he checks, so this is tough. I don't see any way I can bet big here, but I can possibly induce something if I bet a microscopic amount, which is ultimately what I decided to do. I decided to just bet $75 here, which is about one-tenth of the pot. Obviously, I'm hoping for a raise, but instead, I get a snap full. So my read on him having nothing was accurate. I would have to show the hand to get the bonus money, $75 for quads in this instance. He says the flush prevented him from bluffing the river. And our last hand comes against the same opponent. He's under the gun two and limps. I'm in the low jack with pocket tens and make it 30. The others fold. He calls. With 65 in, the flop comes king 8 3 rainbow and he checks. I decided to just check back here. Turns a queen. Again, it goes check check and the river is an 8. Now he overbets the pot again, making it 100. I call, giving us a $265 pot and he says 5 high. We play for about another hour, which included one hand that I'll reference in a moment, and we rack up and book the win. All right, so after losing 1300 on the first half of this vlog, the first day vlogged on this video, I bounce back with an $1,125 win today. I didn't vlog it at the end, but pocket deuces giveth, pocket deuces taketh away. I had aces at the very end. And uh, fortunately for me, a relatively short stack with about 400 in front of her, uh, she flopped a set of deuces on me, doubled up. So I had over 1,500 profit at one point. Don't end up with that much, but at least I've snapped the losing streak as we get set to head to Austin, Texas for a July 21st live stream at the Lodge. Hope you guys get a chance to tune into that. We'll have a couple of vlogs from Austin very much looking forward to it. Uh, as we close things out, if you are looking to play or have played on Poker Bros, which is a great place to practice and kind of hone your craft for bigger games in the live poker streets, uh, jump in my group. It's called High Society. Great action there, I can guarantee you that. Use the link in the description below and put in my referral code. It's great for the channel and uh, Hope you enjoy the action there. Also, hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. This channel continues to grow at a pretty quick rate. 
and I really appreciate all of you for watching and for making that happen. We'll see you next time in Texas. Bye.